again, YouTube. I thought I'd do a follow-up video for you regarding the ceramic heater for the Whedon 647. Um, I had to do a bit of stabilizing on it, actually. You can see here there's a crack. I used some small adhesive tape, and it, the crack follows all the way through. Um, like I said before, I believe it's still continuous, so I'm sure it still would heat up if I really wanted to, but I really don't, since I have my other heater, which is the exact same size. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you this, give you a nice 360 degree tour again of it. There's the electrical contacts. It's just ceramic all the way through. Coils that heat up. Not much else good to see. But there is something else. While I was taking off the electrical contacts, I just wanted to give you a nice view of those. I'm not sure what kind of washers they are. I think they're probably rubber. But while I was taking off the electrical contacts, I found something interesting, which I kind of knew about before from the uh, other e engine that I have. Here, there's a reference point of the other one that I've restored. But uh, in the actual holes here, I believe there was some sort of... I put the scraps of it into a bag here. I believe there's some sort of ceramic putty that kept the base from electrocuting whoever... Here, I'm not sure if I can get a good... Let's see if I can put it against the table. There we go. You can see that there is some ceramic putty there or something like that that kept you from getting electrocuted, uh, insulating the base from the actual heater. So I thought I would just tell you about that and uh, give you a better tour. And over. I also got the asbestos out and the other little junk that was in there. I'm probably not going to restore this. Probably going to keep it for parts. Um, I hate to say this now because I really want to just keep everything, but you know, if you need parts, I can probably provide them to you since all I really bought this one for was to complete the electrical on that one. Although, it's hard to decision. This is a very nice boiler, but as you can see, unfortunately here, the contact is bent in there for the um, sight glass. It's not nice like that one. But the unfortunate part about this one over here is, as you can see, there somebody welded on like a little pipe fitting instead of the nice hole that's supposed to be there. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to restore this boiler because of it's dented there on the sight glass. But whatever. Okay, thank you. Outro on the Whedon 647.